down there. Are you going to eat another piece of meat? Please. Oh, it's about to eat another piece. Oh, oh. And I don't think I need to worry about it. You know, the torpedo and stuff. It's up to 360, 359, 357. Oh, there we go. You guys. Aberrant Spino tamed. Level five. I don't think it lost any, uh, uh, add class to group carnivores. Whoa. You guys. What are the stats? What are the heckin' stats? I didn't even look at that. Oh, that's only 800 health. 350 carry weight. Ah, not that bad, but at the same time, it's a Spino. It's a heckin' Spino, you guys. We're gonna have this guy doing good damage, I assume. He's probably got pretty good armor rating and stuff like that, you know? He's gonna be able to deflect some of the damage and stuff he's gonna be soaking up. And remember, we do have like four Ravagers over here we had tamed. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's just go take the Spino back home and grab the Ravagers over here as well. And hold on, yeah, then I... What, what, what group do I have right now selected? Oh, okay, I, I have Carnivore selected, that's good. Let me go over here to these Ravagers that are... Oh, yep, yep, look at that. Ravager, 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 Ravager. Whoa! Four more heckin' Ravagers! What? This is crazy, you guys. Man, I need to ask you guys for names here, because we are taming so many critters. It's... It should honestly be illegal or something. But there you go, Spino, four more Ravagers. Man! I need to separate these guys and ask you guys for names. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I, I think I'm going to pause the recording, try and separate these guys. Get, like, a, a group of Utah Raptors, group of Carnos. I'm going to go across the river to get that other Carno, by the way. Uh, we only have one Spino, so I guess I'll just keep you there. But, uh, get all my red. Oh, wow, that one's, like, blue. Whoa, I haven't seen that. That must be, like, a mutation or something like that. All the Ravagers I've seen. Oh, what in the world? Sarko skin. Whoa, it must have killed a Sarko. Oh, it must have killed that one we saw across the river, you guys remember? That's pretty good. Anyways, let me give you guys some more. Yeah, let, let, let me make sure all my Ravagers have at least, like, a, like a thousand health. That's a really good number. I love that. There you go. Wow. And 787 right there. Nice. And this one right here. Four of six, five, 645 right there. Nice. Looks like they already have a lot of fiber uh, hide in their inventory as well. They must have killed some stuff down by the river. Let me check the spider's inventory. I might have some. Yeah, prime meat right there. Eh. Yeah, let me check your baseline stats. You're only level five. So, yeah. Health is one. Everything is like basically zero. Except for food is two. Whoa. But stamina is one there too. Okay. But yeah, because of how low level it is, it, the baseline stuff isn't really that impressive, but I think I'm going to pause the recording, just kind of, like, organize these guys, go get the Karno from across the river, all that kind of stuff. Maybe keep looking for that one, hopefully not missing Ravager, but it might be missing, I don't know. I'm going to go look at my footage and see if that Ravager is actually over here, or, or what, because I'm pretty sure I had, like, a level 20-something male that had over a thousand carry weight or something, or over a thousand health. Thousand carry weight would have been really good, especially on a Ravager, but I think I leveled up health on that guy. I'm going to go make sure that, you know, I'm not confusing it or anything like that, so I'm going to pause the recording, and when we come back, whew, you guys better have some names ready, because I'm going to be asking like crazy, because I think, I think we're in a pretty good spot in this series. We got a base, we've got a lot of critters tamed, I don't think we need to worry about losing any. Uh, creators like immediately after I tamed like we were in the first few episodes, right? So go to pause the recording and I'll see you guys here in a second. Alright guys back and check it out. We've got all of our dinos and critters and everything kind of somewhat organized over here. Over here you can see we have all the all the Utah Raptors and stuff like that. Oh, I'm kinda hungry right now. Over here we've got all the Ravagers, over here the Carnos, and a random level up by doing nothing. Over here we've got all of our scorpions, and over here we've got all of our spinos. So there we go. They're 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 somewhat organized right now. And of course, over here is our triceratops and stuff like that. I think because of how many heckin' critters we have right now, I'm not going to go to each and every one of them and be like, hey, leave a comment down below for this one. Leave a comment down below, below for this one. I'm just going to say, leave some comments down below for any of the Ravagers, any of the Utahraptors, any of the Spinos, any of the... Of the, of the scorpions, any of the carnos, any of the trikes, and even our bold dog. Just be sure to let me know that, hey, this is a comment suggestion for a bulb dog, this is a comment suggestion for a ravager, doesn't matter which ravager, doesn't matter what carno, or anything like that, just so it's easier for me to, you know, go through the comments and for you guys to leave comments as well. So I'm just expecting us to get like hundreds of comments like we usually do, and that's going to give me a lot of names to go through to uh, name any of the ravagers, any of the Utah raptors, stuff like that, so and actually be a lot better for you guys as well because it'll be more likely for me to pick one of you guys' comments. So just leave a comment down below saying, hey, I want to name a Utah Raptor this. I want to name a Ravager that. I want to name a Carnotaurus this. I want to name the Trike that. I want to name the Bulb Dog this. 
I want to name a scorpion that. I want to name a spider this. And be sure to hit that like button on any comments down below that you guys think are really good. That way I know which ones are very popular amongst you guys. Uh, maybe, maybe in the future if I feel like this is a much better way of naming critters and whatnot. And if you guys think it's a much better way of naming critters, you know, rather than going up to each and every single one of them and saying, hey, leave a comment down below for the level 11 spino and stuff like that. Be sure to let me know as well in the comments because I feel like this might be a lot better for both me and you guys. Anyways, with that all out of the way, uh, I did also do a lot of stuff uh, between, like, whenever I paused and when I came back. As you can see, I, I put down even more torches. I even made a cooking pot over here. Uh, where I made some dyes and stuff. I made some white dyes over here. And as you can see, I dyed all the flames and, and torches and stuff like that white. That way we don't have like a like an orange tint going on with all the all the lighting and stuff like that. So we have white light over here. It's a lot easier on the eyes and whatnot. We do have a campfire in here that's cooking some stuff and that's putting out some orange light, but I don't think I could really do anything about that. Also put some uh, some wall torches up here inside of our actual house. And I guess because of how many torches and campfire and all that kind of stuff, we've actually got a little flame on our bottom right corner there, so we need to watch out for that. Also, I've been getting a lot of the spoiled meat, both off of all of my carno- or, uh, well, carnos, I guess we could say, but all of our carnivores, getting all the spoiled meat off of them and making some narcotics over here. I did myth bust that we can use some of these acerbic, acerbic, whatever. I still didn't, I should have looked up how to pronounce this. <laughs> I did find out that we can actually use these to make uh, both poison trank arrows as well as narcotics. As you can see right now, we're making a lot of narcotics and it's going to slowly chip away at that number. There's five more of them gone right there, so I'm very happy about that because it seems like we get way more more of these mushrooms than we do like narco berries and stuff like that so very happy about that uh, i'm probably going to have to carry uh make a drugs folder here so let me make a drugs folder you know just so i could put some uh carry around about 100 narcotics at a time in there i am also carrying around a little bit of mushrooms as well so that's taking up a little bit of carry weight uh we have these auric mushrooms these aquatic mushrooms and these agravic mushrooms i guess that's how you pronounce that let me let me look at this again acerbic I guess I could say that. Acerbic mushrooms? Uh, maybe that's about as close as I'm going to get, right? <laughs> but either way, there we go. We have a lot of those inside there. I'm also carrying, like I said, a bunch of those mushrooms. And I'm going to start carrying around narcotics. And I guess uh, if I can make more spark powder, we can make some... Uh, I, I guess I should be able to make a lot more. Let me let me try and make about... Uh, let me try and make like 200 spark powder. Can I make that many? Uh, I can get 152 crafts. Okay, not that bad, because that is uh, flint and stone, and I did just use a lot of that uh, moments ago to make more arrows and stuff, because uh, we have now 50 trank arrows and 50 regular arrows, in case I want to knock out something, or, you know, kill something. And maybe here in a bit we can actually upgrade to a long neck rifle for that. Ooh! I guess because of all the stuff I've been crafting lately, I have two level ups right now. Ooh! What do I want to do? I kind of want to do carry weight. Carry, at least carry away for one. Uh, melee damage? Yeah, we haven't done melee damage in a little while. Up to 165%, I believe. Yes. And we're up to 53, uh, level 53 right there. I do kind of want to go on a little mini adventure, kind of alone on our Ravager over here, our highest level Ravager, uh, which, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this just five seconds ago, went through each and every one of these critters around here, uh, seeing if they have any level ups, and I gave them all level ups. All the Carnos and stuff. Maybe they have another level up here. Yeah, they don't have any level ups there. But all the Ravagers, I think have as much health as possible. Uh, I've been trying to get all of them up to about a thousand health, and then after they hit a thousand health, uh, I did uh, melee damage for them, so only the higher level ones hit about a uh, thousand health or so. Same thing with the uh, Utah Raptors. Once they get up to about 500 health, I guess I might have missed out on this one. Once they get up to about 500 health, I start upgrading their melee damage, so that's pretty good. Uh, upgrade the melee damage on that one, yeah. You can see these guys have uh, some saddles as well. I made a bunch of uh, raptors. I think I made like four or five raptor saddles. So as you can see, we have a lot of raptors with saddles. I think we have only maybe one or two critters over here without saddles, so that's pretty cool. Maybe here in a bit, if we kill more critters with our ravager over here, we can actually uh, make more ravager saddles on camera. Unfortunately, the... Uh, Extinction Core guy still hasn't updated his mod, it's still, like, from October or something like that, so unfortunately we still have to do the little method where we take all the resources to that chest over there and just kind of throw them out. But I did get some comments over there appreciating that I'm doing that, you know, kind of a cheating, but like a legitimate cheat, uh, so I'm very happy that you guys are happy with the way I'm doing the cheating, if you will. Anyways, as you can see, we have a lot more mushrooms and berries inside of there, a lot of resources over here. I got a lot of the gems and stuff out of the critters inventories as well, so that's pretty cool. Might want to get some of the hide and uh, fiber 
keep some of that on our Ravager over here just so I can kind of keep track of how much fiber and how much hide and all that kind of stuff all of our critters over here have. And yes, I did just pull all that hide, so I think we're good. So, anyways, I do want to kind of do the little zip line meme with this guy as well as just kind of level him up and kind of adventure around a little bit as well we do have a bed over here so if we do die we can just uh, spawn back over here no problemo and we do have a lot of food as well so uh, as you can see i'm kind of cooking right there i also did use some uh, wood to actually cook up and uh, get some of the charcoal to make the dyes, so that's pretty cool. Let me see, oh, we got a level up, yep, look at that. We got a level up by doing nothing, even though we're, you know, crafting stuff over here. But I do want to make some more, I wonder if we can make some stem berry, or uh, is that, is there any mushrooms that are the equivalent of stem berries? I guess not, because it just pulled over the actual stem berries themselves, but I kind of want to wait until we actually have some uh, stimulants nice and crafted. So I think I might pause the recording just for like two or minutes, two or so minutes, until we have, uh, you know, maybe about 50 stimulants, you know. Uh, just so in case we do get poisoned and whatnot, we can get our uh, torpidity nice and up. Same thing with uh, if we're knocking out a critter, we could use some of this uh, narcotics just to keep them nice and knocked out. As well as we do have some of the mushroom uh, versions of them. Let me just wait until we have enough uh, stimulants, uh, maybe about 50 or so stimulant. That sounds like a really good number. And yeah, we can make 69 more crafts. Nice! So let me wait until we have about 50 or so stimulants, and I'll see you guys here in a second. Actually, hold on, you guys. So um, I'm still making that stimulus, but I looked at myself right here. We're still wearing cloth armor. I, I, I think we need an upgrade. Do we have hide? Maybe even chitin, because I know I got a lot of chitin. Maybe we can make some chitin. Oh, yes, please. Let's make ourselves some chitin armor. Maybe here in a bit we can uh, make ourselves some flag as well. Because remember, we do have insane amounts of that. Actually, yeah, hold on. Maybe we just skip the flak. Uh, nah, no, nah, we need to be like one more level and then we can get flak, right? We're level f Oh, wait, nah, two more levels. Okay, we're well, not that bad. We do have an earthquake going on right now, so that's why I'm like randomly jumping around like that. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Kitan, you do not make that in your inventory. I don't think I've ever like made Kitan except for like once on the center or something like that, so that's why I'm kind of a. Uh... Wait, what in the world? Oh, that was the upgrade station. Okay, let me make some of the Kitan armor now. Let me make uh, the gauntlets. There we go. The shoes, the chest plate. Uh, I guess. Oh, there we go. The helmet, the leggings, all that kind of stuff. Maybe I can even upgrade them at the upgrade station here in a second. Let's see. So there we go. I don't think I've ever uh, even, like, had a full set. I think I've had, like, one or two pieces of chitin armor, but I don't think I've ever had, like, a full-on set, you know? So this is going to be kind of interesting. So there we go. Let's put on all this. And Oh, whoops. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's the helmet. Forgot about that. Whoops. I might as well skin the new thing here in the helmet uh, with the helmet skin, but uh, right now... Ugh, god, that's disgusting. It's like exoskeleton suit. But then again, it honestly don't even look that bad. I mean, that's what the, uh, the alpha armor back in the uh, Anaga Genesis was before it, you know, got reskinned to be like black and white or uh, black and red or something crazy, which honestly made it look really cool. But let me see if I have any uh, materials to actually upgrade this stuff over here. Let me try and upgrade the chest plate. That seems really good. We're going to need chitin and hide. Not bad. Let's pull all of our chitin over here. We have a lot of that, I'm sure. Yeah, we do. Wow. Utah Raptors, everyone has that. Wow. Look at that. We have 912 in the resource thing too. Sheesh. Let's get some hide off of the Ravager as well. And there we go. Let's try and uh, upgrade the chest plate. Perfect. We got that to uncommon. Leggings next. Nice. Uncommon too. Uncommon. Nice. And whoa, whoa. Skip to rare on the boots. Nice. That's really good. And we need more hide for the for the gauntlets. Whoa, man. I think we might be able to put up the put up these and salvage them, right? And we could possibly get some hide. So. Ooh, there we go. Ooh, didn't get anything from that, right? Expertly ha salvaged those leggings right there, though. Not bad. Ooh, got like... Ooh, we got two pieces of hide right there. Do we have enough? Six more pieces of hide. Do we have any extra armor over here? I think we might. <laughs> See, this is... This is really, really, uh... Really helpful. We just recycle all of our extra armor we don't need, don't really use anymore, you know? Just kind of get some resources out of it. Of course, we're getting, like, nothing half the time, so <laughs> it's not really overpowered, if you ask me, so let me try and uh, salvage these pieces of garbage. Try and get some stuff from them. I think we only get hide from uh, from the shoes and the... the, uh... the... whatever the hand stuff is. <laughs> the gloves! Okay, so we're up to eight hide. Do we have enough yet? Ah, oh, we need one more piece. Man! Okay, I'm, I'm running around in my underwear right now. I need to get one heckin' piece of hide. Jeez, this is dangerous. Any any critters? <laughs> I don't know if there's any critters. I had to be very careful out here. I might I might kill, like, one bulb dog. Try and get, like, one piece of hide. I might as well get my hatchet out, because, man, this is dangerous out here. 
I need to be very careful. Because <laughs> this is night time. Oh, there's a bulb dog right there. Hopefully none of my critters over there trying to... Trying to try and hurt them and whatnot. Do I have any tribes selected right now? I do not. And let me tell everyone to be... To be... There we go. To be neutral. There you go. Just so they do not attack me. Because I'm going to try and kill this bulb dog. It's a female. Okay, I think ours is a female as well. Oh, oh, please tell me no one over there is trying to come over here. Okay, good. I didn't want everyone to just run over here to my rescue. <laughs> uh, anyways, we do have a lot of hide right now. I'm running around in my underwear. So, man, we need to go out here and throw that hide up, hater. And we should have enough attempt upgrade. Nice. We have everything uncommon or rare in the case of our boots. So, let's see. What is our armor? rating right now 690 armor rating really really nice nice anyways i said nice nice <laughs> either way wow that honestly that aberration helmet what is it called aberrant helmet skin that looks really good it kind of blends in with the uh the the chitin armor we got going on right now can't even complain that, that honestly looks really good not bad anyways uh, oh yeah let me get some of the stimulants over here i forgot about that uh we have 100 so let's just grab like 50 there we go not bad and let's put up a... Uh, I probably should have shift clicked that over. So we have 50 narcotics, 50 stimulants. <sighs> let's, go, let's go on an adventure right now, you guys. I need to drink some water, eat some food. There we go. Okay. We have a lot of critters over here. I kind of want to go on a one-on-one one, one -on -one adventure with our Ravager over here. I've been leveling this guy up pretty well lately. He's got 1,200 health, almost 200% melee damage. I kind of want to go over... Where in the world was that? Where we saw the vines, and I kind of... I, I thought I could kind of go across the vines like a little bridge like on Ragnarok but I couldn't I just fell down and almost died I want to go find out where that is kind of test out the zipline meme I want to see how this ravager actually uses the ziplines I hopefully actually know how to use the ziplines but uh, oh yeah one one thing is whenever I was actually trying to get some wood and whatnot because uh, we can actually use tools and whatnot while on a ravager and the ravager is really good at holding uh, materials and whatnot wood and such I've just been going in the first person like this, getting Funko wood, and just throwing it in his inventory, and it weighs like half as much, so, man, he's such a utility, I love that the Ravagers are so good, but up there, that is what I'm talking about, up there, there is a vine, I think we might be able to zip line there, uh, oh yeah, didn't we see a, oh, there's a lesser Swords, I need one of those too, yeah, like right over here, we saw like a structure, I think this is actually where we fell down, yeah, there's like a green structure or something over there, okay, let's go over there here in a second, See if we can actually go across this vine now that we have a Ravager. Hopefully I know how to actually properly go across this vine, because I don't want to actually, you know, fall off the heckin' edge and die. But, uh... Yeah, there, there's a structure over the... Oh, there's a... There's the vine. I see the vine right there, or zipline, or whatever that is. Yeah, there is right there. What is that? I think I saw that thing in the trailer. I don't know if I said, said this last time. So can he... Oh! So what do I do here? Oh, that dismounts me. So there's like a pointing thing. Oh, what in the world? Why is he pooping? Huh. I really want to... <laughs> Hold on, let me let me pause the recording and go look this up. I want to go find out what the button is to actually activate the zipline ability. Because whenever I'm looking at this this zipline or, or whatever vine or whatever, it seems like it's got this little pointing thing going on right now. So let me go figure out what key it is just so I don't fall off and die this time. So <laughs> I'll see you guys here in a second. Are you guys back? I think it's space bar. I think it's space bar. And oh, there we go. Oh, so we just jump on the vine and that's how we go across. OK, man, I'm glad I looked that up because I would have I would have hit like every other button in the universe except for space bar. Jeez. Anyways, let's go see what this 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 totem, this shrine. What is this? Is this a supply? I don't think it's a supply drop. It might be. I don't know, because this has been here for a while. Current charge. Oh, it's a charge node. And it's got OK, so you can make an uh, element inside of it. Uh, charge battery. Hmm. I wonder if this is part of my element crafting mod, or if it's actually a place where you can actually craft elements, so... Hmm, very interesting, it's a charge node. I don't know if... Can I hold, uh, access inventory, that's all I could do. It's fully charged. Can I use my fellow? Is he fully charged? He's not, but he's charging up. Huh. So what are these little commands right here? These are like little computer screens. Hmm. I guess we can't really do anything about that. Maybe I do some more research about these charge nodes, but I feel like we're a little bit too early game to actually use that, so that's very unfortunate. Kind of want to go, speaking of charging up my critters and whatnot, we do have torch bugs around here, and you know what? We have stego fellows here, too. We might as well murder these stego fellows and try and level up our Ravager. So let's try and murder. There we go. Aberrant Stegosaurus. Oh, we're doing about 46 damage. We're hit. 
Honestly, I thought we'd be doing a lot more than that. We're taking about half as much damage from the stegos. Well, we do have two stegos. We're getting ganged up upon you guys. We need to watch out. And the first stego is almost dead. And it's dead. Nice. 22 hide. 34 hide. I might want to actually harvest their dead flesh with my hatchet and get more hide, you know? I feel like we might be able to get more hide if we do that. So, since we're on a ravager and we can actually... Oh, we're doing 69 damage to this one. This one was, must be a lower level or something. Oh, wait, no, he'll level 15. What in the world? Um... Uh, yeah, yeah, we're getting- Whoa, 67 hide, yeah. Yeah, I should definitely harvest the dead flesh with my heckin' hatchet. Okay, I need to- we're, we're getting kind of far away here, you guys. I need to watch out- Oh, whoa, is that a tower over there? That thing that's kind of glowing over there. Ooh, we do have zip lines. I kind of want to go across. And we do have our bulb dog, actually. Okay, so it said whenever you see the actual- Oh, well, there's another charge node down there. Huh. And there's- there's a battle going on down there. I assume that's a... I think it's a Parasaur... Paras... What is it called? Jeez. Parasaurotherium fighting what looks like maybe a Spino or a Roll Rat down there on the bottom left corner. Ah, look at that. Man, this is a rather long heckin' zip line. I did see there is... Ah, man, I forgot what... I can go look it up right now, but there is a button you press. And there's, there's, two, there's a charge node there. There's a charge node down there, too. There's a charge node back there. These things must be heckin' common. Let me go look up what button you press to go across a little bit faster. Uh, oh. No, it doesn't say. It only shows the cons or, uh, like, Xbox. Oh, whoa! It's shift! Oh, okay. Whoa, we're just gliding across. What in the heck? Whoa, we just went across that thing like a monorail or something crazy. Whoa! Okay, so we have some trikes over here. They're decorous. We haven't found any new critters lately. Although, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Whoa, whoa. Is that an iguana? No, that's... that's an, is that an alice? What is that thing up there? That's a Utah Raptor. That just killed something. Let me kill this Utah Raptor. 13 damage to us. We're doing 46 damage to him. He's going down and down, down. What level is he? 23? 24. He's level 24 and he's dead. Let's try and harvest the dead flash with our hatchet. Can we even reach him? Oh, there we go. 28 hide. Not bad. And we did get a level up for our fellow, so... We took a little bit of hits right there, and we need to watch out. Make sure we do not die, but up to level 43 right now. Really good. Not bad. Oh, man, I really need to... Figure out, like, how I get back home and stuff. I do have my thing set. On my- Oh! I'm getting attacked by another Utraptor behind us. We need to kill this thing. I could get my, uh, my hatchet out. Or my sword out and actually do some more damage. But there we go. Kill the Utraptor and harvest the dead flesh. Whoops. Could have got more hide right there if I actually used my hatchet, but what are you going to do? Oh, I was kind of in the moment right there. Oh, wow, there's multiple roll rats around here. Maybe a bold dog up there that's causing a little glow. And we do have gems and stuff. I kind of want to, yeah. Let's wait until this guy burrows and gems come out. And we can steal some gems. I kind of want to do that. Aquatic mushroom just spoiled. Whoops. And we are kind of uh, taking some hits over here. We need to watch out for that. Hmm. Okay, so we're down to 700 heckin' health. I wonder if those mushrooms... Hold on. Can I... Can I tell you to eat... Which one was it? It was this one, right? Heals you slowly over time. So let me give you a few of these. I don't know if that helps you out. But I do want you to heal up over time, you know? Hmm. I don't know if that's helping out, helping out my Ravager. Or if he just needs to eat regular food. Which, in that case, we should watch out for that. But, oh man, that one just... Burrowed underground. Yeah, there's a little bit of gems right there. We could uh, attack this guy. He does have some good health, but uh, then again, we're only at like half health right now. We need to watch the heck out. But uh, we might be able to get on foot. We do have chitin armor. We can get this guy with our sword. Might want to double team this guy instead of going uh, riding on the Ravager and stuff like that. Let me let me steal the gems. Whoa, the gem. Okay, let me wait for him to uh, to go underground again. Do I have any tribes selected? Let me just double check. We do not. Okay, so I can command this guy to attack the Ravager. Or, uh, the Ravager to attack the Roll Rat. So let me wait until this guy burrows underground. Some gems come out. So we can at least benefit from killing this guy, you know? Hmm. Do I have another Dodo over here, though? Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, let me wait for him to come out. We can kill him and we can grab his, his jewels, his gems. No gems? Huh. No heckin' gems. Well, kill him anyways. Kill him anyways. No, don't kill the- No, don't kill the dodo, man! No, oh, well, he's dead now. Whoops. <laughs> kill the roll rat. There we go, level 16 or so, roll rat. Getting heckin' wrecked. Roll rat is down. Oh, man, man, I wanted to switch my hatchet so I could actually get the- Well, maybe he got some hide. Uh, 
Nah, maybe you did, I don't know. Oh, I'm up to 120 heckin' hide right now, not bad. We can make another Ravager Shatter, I think, uh, pretty soon. I think it requires 200 or so hide. Let me tell my Ravager to follow me around right now. Oh, speaking of gems, we do have a gem or vein or something right here. Let's try and get ourselves some, ooh, green gems. 16 green gems. We did see blue gems coming out of that little crevice that that roll rat came out of, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. We would have gotten some blue heckin' gems back there. I really need to go look up, like, what things you craft. You know, once we once the mod actually updates and we can actually craft these things. Oh, I saw some blue gems over here. They just despawned. Let me actually kill things with my hatchet now. You know, just in case they die, I immediately start harvesting dead flesh, harvesting hide. Let me kill you, the roll rat fellow. Try and get some hits on him. Man, I'm getting flung back hardcore, though. And let me get some good hits on him. Man, this one adds a lot of health or something. Seems like our fellow. Oh, there you go. The roll rat just got killed. 29 hide right there. Looks like we're harvesting the dead flesh in tandem right there, though. Not bad. And it looks like we've got more critters up here. Parasaurs. Well, it looks like an iguanodon as well. Hmm, we do have a level up for ourselves. What do we want to do? We could do health. We could do melee damage. Get that up to 175%. Or more uh, more carry weight. Uh, yeah, we're not really too too crazy about the carry weight right now. Kind of want to get... Uh, let me tell this guy to attack the Iguanodon. To, and I'll attack this Parasaur. Oh, kill the Parasaur. Kill the heckin' Parasaur. Whoa! Did he get the Parasaur? Oh, the Iguanodon's over here trying to get us. Oh, the Iguanodon is down! Iguanodon is down, Parasaur is getting hit, he's bloody as heck, he's up against a wall like a dumb. There we go, he's dead. Harvest the dead flesh. Man, we're getting tons of iron out of here, you guys. I don't want to get too far away, though, because I don't know where in the world we go to go back home, you know? So I need to watch the heck out, make sure we don't get <laughs> straight too far off the path. Let's just, uh, try and... I'm like, we, we did take two vines. I think uh, if we just kind of head backward... Whoa, what is this? There's like a structure. Is this maybe... Can I go inside of this thing? Is this a bridge? It looks like it's a bridge that kind of... Or maybe it's a support. I guess. There is a vine for me to go to the other side, though. Or a zipline or whatever. Hmm. Let me kill this parasaur. Hwah! Oh! Kill you! I think I looked at... Hold on. Let me, let me actually do the... Oh! 28 hide. This is the roar, I think. I don't think this actually does anything to any nearby critters, though, so that's, I guess, just for show. Let's keep on adventuring around here. We did have this vine. Yep, here we go. Let's wait until we have the... There it is right there. And then we hit shift, I guess, to go across like monorail. Oh! There is the plant species Z plant right there. I did look it up. I did show it on screen like two or three episodes ago. We just need to hang out near the plant species Z. And once every, I think, 60 seconds, it will spit out some seeds. So we just need to hang out near it. And there we go. Killing blow. Let me harvest the dead flesh with my hatchet. My upgraded. No, wait, my hatchet's not even upgraded, is it? Huh, yeah, it's just common. Huh. So maybe I should use my Ravager to get some of the hide. Seems like it gets a pretty good amount of hide, though. But it seems like there's no more hostile critters around here, so I think we're good to go. How's his health doing? Yeah, he's still not up to full health yet, so. Hmm. Kind of sour about that. But let's wait. It seems like every minute or so, this tongue will, like, fling out or something, and it'll spit out seeds. I guess like that? I don't know. But I guess we just kind of hang out near it, and then wait for the seeds to spit out. And I guess uh, that's how we get the seeds for the thing. And I think, uh, I think, I, I did a little bit of research. So pardon me if my memory's not like 100% right here, but I think the, the benefit of the plant species Z is that you get these like grenade type things. I don't know, I have to go look it up again, but that's just kind of what I read. Maybe we could, uh... I could flash something on the screen right now, and you guys can read about it, but, uh, I guess that's not ready just yet. Let me go kill- Oh, 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 another Utraptor over here! Wild Utraptor doing some level 3, though! Whoa! And 20 hide right there, nice. How much hide do we have right now? I might want to look that up. Kinda want to keep hanging out around this fella. Might want to get some, uh, harvest, the uh, harvest these with my sickle and try and clear out the area. That way, if any, any seeds get spat out of this thing, I can actually see them a little bit easier, and they're not kinda covered up by all the plants and the foliage and whatnot, you know? So there we go, I think that's pretty good right there. Seems, yes, yeah, you know, oh, I'm dying from, oh, I'm hungry, okay. Whew. There we go. All right, let's wait until seeds go spitting out of this thing. Then maybe we can start heading back home here pretty soon, but honestly, I'm, I'm liking this adventure. Oh, he's up to full health now, nice. Hmm, he's about to level up here in a bit, though, so we should probably watch out for that. This thing isn't spitting out any seeds yet. It said, like, once every 60 seconds or something like that. 
I don't see any seeds on the outside just yet. So we should definitely stay here, play the waiting game, I guess. Oh man, you guys, so look at that. There's a seed being spat out of it right there. Uh, I looked it up again. It's not It's not 60 seconds. It's 180 seconds. That's three minutes. So I guess we've been hanging around this thing long enough for this thing to finally spit out a heckin' seed. So let's, uh, let's, let's resume the game. There we go. And there's the seed. Let's grab it. Let's grab it. There we go. So it seems like it's still... Oh. And that's what it looks like. Plant this in a viable large crop plot to grow a charge infused plant that will protect you against enemies and provide you with fruits. Yeah, I've got the page still open. Let me actually go look up what this plant species Z fruit is like. While it does no damage, it explodes upon impact into a flash of light similar to a flashbang. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I, th I, I, I remember it being like a grenade or something, but it's like a flashbang, which I don't know if you guys remember. Oh, is our, speaking of flash, is our, is our bulb dog? Oh yeah, he's, he's, he doesn't have that good of charge, but let me let me go find it. Oh, oh, oh! We got a uh, scorpion over here. Whoa, level 26. We need to watch out for this thing. This thing's actually not that high or not that bad of level. It might actually do some damage to us, maybe some torpidity and whatnot. And there we go. We got a nice knockdown and... Well, I guess knocked out permanently because it's heckin' dead now. Hello.